brought to you by Fast Pitch TV and sponsored by SoftballJunk.com. Here's Fast Pitch Chat. Welcome to Fast Pitch Chat. I am Bill Hillhouse and I'm here to answer this week's question. Sandra asks, I am a pitcher. How many days a week should I practice and how many balls should I pitch at each practice? This is a pretty common question. It's one I get asked a lot at clinics and seminars that I do. And the, the hard reality is there's no hard and fast rules on this one. It's a little bit different for each pitcher. And I can tell you that from my own experience when I was young and was coming up and learning how to pitch, I did it every single day. Every day I had a catcher, and on days that I didn't have a catcher, I went and I pitched up against the wall. I think the only way that I got better was to practice and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. Repetition, repetition, repetition. And I was always working on something specific when I was practicing. I wasn't just going and mindlessly pitching my arm around. I was specifically trying to work on something, whether it be keeping my hips open or snapping my elbow, whatever my task for that day was, I tried to do something in my pitching every single day. How many balls should I pitch at each practice? It's a little bit of a misnomer to think that you're going to build up game endurance by pitching, you know, 300 pitches in a practice, especially when you're pitching indoors. Indoor training is very, very different from outdoor training. And there's no real way of building yourself up and to get into game condition when you're not playing games. Pitching indoors and your practice indoors should be geared specifically for certain things, like working on your ball rotation for certain pitches or working on your location or things like that or trying to fix another crow hop issue or any kind of mechanical deficiency that you might have. But you don't really build up game endurance without playing games. It's just, a, it's just the way it is. Your, your body works differently in a game. You have much more adrenaline going. The situations are different. You don't really get that from pitching in a gym and going and going and going mindlessly. It has to be done in game situations. And, and unfortunately, the only way to do that is to play a lot of games. So you got to really throw as much as you can in your practice when you're working on something. And then hopefully that translates out into your game situations as well. Thanks for watching this week's issue of Fast Pitch Chat. And if you have any questions, you can reach us at fastpitchtv at gmail.com. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham! You just put a cool $30 in your pocket. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network.